Hey guys, it's Moody here, and this is go just gonna be like a continuation of the tutorial thingamajiggy I was doing last time regarding emulation. And this part is gonna be how I get my quality. And for this segment, I'm gonna include the program I use in the description. It's free to download, and I think it's pretty awesome. So, um, I'm already running my Windows through Parallels. If you guys are using a Mac, that's the only way you could run it. I haven't tried it on Wine though, so if you guys want to try it on Wine or Crossover, you could try that, but I'm just going to go ahead here and open up the program, and we'll just get started. So, whoops, I didn't click it. Alright, there we go. Click run. Um, It doesn't matter what version you use, I have like an outdated version, but it doesn't really matter. So, uh, as the program starts up, you just go to file and first thing you want to do is open a video file obviously so you have something to work with <sighs> god computer stop being slow uh... just go and navigate to where your file is supposed to be um... mine is in need to record that's where i keep all my battles all nice and organized so you open up the battle and you'll see that you have two previews the left is your original file the right will be the files um, what it's gonna look like once you edit it so um... first thing i want to do is go to video filter and, and i want to add a filter. Uh, they have a list here. I don't really care for all the other ones. The one I want is the resize filter. And the first thing you want to do is disable aspect ratio and have absolute pixels uh, bubbled in. And YouTube size is 1280 by 720 and that's the size uh, you want to work with. If you want to do 1280 by 720, the um, program is going to resize your video to that size. You can also work from a uh, ratio 4 to 3 is the ratio that the battle is in. So if you want you can work with that but I prefer to just work with 1280 by 720 and that should be HD. The filter mode is is nearest neighbor. If you choose any other filter mode, you probably will not get the outcome that I'm going to have. So, filter mode is nearest neighbor and with that, you can just click okay and it's going to save. Click okay and now you'll see that the image on the right has been adjusted to fit the filter you just put in. Let's see, there's uh, the other thing I want to do is disable audio because I'm going to be narrating this. So, that's just my preference. Ugh, why did it go black? Hold on. Oh, God, let's see if I can preview. I can preview this somehow. No, it's all good. We're all good. So, that's alright. Um, audio I like leaving disabled, uh, video, one more thing I like to do is adjust the frame rate and just leave it to 30 frames per second. I, uh, I'm not sure if it makes a difference, but I know that's what the YouTube, uh, standard is, 30 frames per second. So, uh, with that, uh, the last thing I want to do before I export this is go to compression and as you'll see you'll have a list of uh, compression settings just like you had on Desmume and the one I like using is TechSmith if you you can go with uncompressed but if you do so then first of all you're gonna have a large file and you're gonna take a while to have to you're gonna have to take a while to render out everything. So let's say the uncompressed takes an hour. Let's say I use TechSmith. That's going to take like two minutes, five minutes tops. You know, there's a huge difference um, between the two compression settings. So I would highly recommend that you get Camtasia 
if you're working with Windows, then you could use this codec and it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. Just check the configuration settings, make sure it's set to better compression, and you can click OK. And now with that, you can just go to File, and you can, ah, uh, excuse me, you can just save as AVI, and here I just, you need to rename the battle into whatever. So I'm going to name it Battle HD. Make sure it says uh, Audio Video Interleave and AVI as the save type. Click Save. And now you see that your virtual dub is uh, processing the video. So what you want to do is process thread priority highest. Um, it'll make it go slightly faster if you have a slower computer like I kind of do. It helps me. So. Um, you just leave that running and as you can see it's going to take uh, about five minutes to render out the whole thing which I honestly don't think is a lot of time because uh, keep in mind it's going to be uh, 1280 by 720 and it's just rendering out the filter so with that that's how I get my quality and uh, I think that's about it um, I already have uh, the program I use in a different tutorial it's a Mac program but if you're running Windows I know a lot of people use uh, what is it called Sony Vegas to edit their video and put in a narration and with that I'm gonna leave you guys and good luck if you have any questions feel free to ask me you can inbox me message me whatever or just post in the comments leave a like to help me out if you want um, or if it helped you and that's about it I love you guys bye